This is a mirror that can reflect people's inner desires. The rich businessman just played with his hands a few times. One appeared on his bed, graceful dancing girl in red, soul-stirring look. Others couldn't help swallowing when they saw it. At the same time, a coffin suddenly floated from the sea. The crew salvaged him and opened it up. The face of the female corpse. She looks exactly like the beauty in the mirror. Afterwards the whole sea became a sea of flames. The ship sank. The moon that night is the same as it is tonight. Big and round. The sea in front of me suddenly lights up. Blink of an eye. At this time, everyone has come to heaven and earth. It is impossible to hide from the sea eye. Everyone just finds something to hold on to. And wait to be sucked into the sea eye. Life or death is up to fate. When everything calms down, everyone go out and have a look. I found myself in the middle of two seas. It seems that this is where the legendary sea eye can go. Hate heaven's ruins. And Doran may be the only descendant of the Tian Tian clan. Because the use of dragon fire is perfect. Bronze casting techniques here. Reached unprecedented levels. Although it is safe for now. But I don't know how long this double sea can last. Now the first task is to find a way out. People keep going. But the way was blocked by a large wreck of a shipwreck. Glasses are instantly recognizable. This is the Marigian that sank before. Everyone put on diving gear immediately and split up. A group of people looking for a tunnel to get out. The other team went to salvage the ancient mirror of King Qin. In the process, Hu Bai thought of that familiar voice again. Hu Bai looks around. A little girl in white, standing in the depths of the wreck. Hubai is not the first time. I saw this little girl in white. A few years ago in Gaochang ancient tomb. Hubai found a thousand-year-old girl in a wedding dress. Under the mask of the female corpse. Like a black vortex. Let Hubai lose his mind and become a demon. Since then, that female corpse, often together with the little girl in white, appeared in Hubai's dream, and put a curse on him. At first Hubba thought, just haunted by evil things in the tomb, but now he found King Qin Zhao Gujing in the sea, some military memories. It also came to him like a tide. <coughs> Hubai suddenly went crazy. If the companion hadn't arrived in time, he's probably going to confess at the bottom of the sea. Soon after everyone landed, good news from Fatty, they finally found their way out. However, Qin Wang Zhao Gujing is still missing. What no one knows is, in fact, Hubai has just found that treasure, but he always thought it was ominous, so didn't say it. Wait until everyone is asleep. He just sneaked out, fished out the ancient mirror of the King of Qin, but his behavior was almost spotted by the glasses. Looking at each other's anxious look, Hubai became suspicious. Why is he in such a hurry? I really want to find King Qin Zhao Hujing. And as the story progresses, he didn't hesitate to kill everyone present. Get this baby too. It said, this mirror can illuminate the veins of human bones, and the ghost. And what is the ghost on Hubai? This movie is called Ghost Blowing the Lantern, Return to the South China Sea. It can be seen from the subtitle. Many scenes in the film either take place at sea, either happens in water. Compared with the IP of Ghost Blowing Lamp, the stories that have changed in the past have higher requirements for actors. It is more difficult to shoot. This is also the side of the South China Sea Guishu. One of the reasons why it has not been filmed so far. If you are also interested in the next story development, movie is online. Find out for yourself. Legendary Kingdom of Atlantis. Did it really exist in reality? If it is Tour, why haven't humans found him yet? And if it's just a fiction, and why do miraculous discoveries continue? Surprisingly consistent with the legend, DC version of Aquaman has given a rather fanciful explanation. Atlantis in the movies was an old kingdom where the technology is advanced. National prosperity, when humans on other continents of the Earth, still in feudal times, they have already discovered the mystery of infinite energy. But in the end, because of the ruler's inflated desire, say 1,200 years ago, there is a whole land surrounded by ocean. Kingdom of Atlantis. Some historians believe that although Plato was great, but you can't believe everything he wrote. Atlantis is just a myth. But at the same time, there are many people who firmly believe in his existence. It's because humans haven't discovered its ruins yet. And on June 4, 1965, as two astronauts, first shot, when the famous Eye of the Sahara on Earth, people are surprised to find, its structure, Atlantis as described by Plato, almost identical, this place, in Africa, Mauritania in the southwestern part of the Sahara Desert, first verified, the Eye of the Sahara is neither a crater, nor extrusive rocks formed by volcanic eruptions. Such a special structure. There is no other place on Earth. The reason for its formation is still a mystery. Three layers of concentric circles. Exactly the same as the city structure of Atlantis. What's more, after field measurement, 
The diameter of the outer ring of the Eye of the Sahara is 23.3 kilometers, whereas in Plato's description, the diameter of the capital city of Atlantis, convert to today's units, is 23.49 kilometers. Even the size is surprisingly consistent. And according to the description in the book, Atlantis North Backing, South by the Sea, in contrast to the Eye of the Sahara photo, it also has mountain-like structures on its north face. Although there is no sea in the south, but the desert to the south has been explored. Confirm that there are traces of water testing. Monotania, where the Eye of the Sahara is located. The name of the first king in its history, with the name of the first king of Atlantis, also called Atlas. The connection, it's really hard to explain with just a coincidence. In fact, whether Atlantis really existed or not, those who believe in him, will continue to search and explore the, lost civilization, even if you can't find it. He will also lead people to broaden the boundaries of more cognition, just like the fictional ancient tomb civilization in the Ghost Blowing Lantern series. Although it looks weird, in fact, it contains rich regional colors, and after images of history, for example, the Jingjua ancient city based on the Jingjua country, and capital city of Google Dynasty, the prototype of Kunlun Magic, another work in the recent Ghost Blowing Lantern series, Ghost Blowing the Lantern, Return to the Void in the South China Sea, first adapted into a film, the most difficult to visualize in the series, Guishu Kingdom, which can be called the Atlantis of the East, onto the screen, this Guishu country is located near the South China Sea, recently also known as the Kingdom of Hate, in the middle of two seas, so it's been a legend, haters here, fireflies that can burn in water have been used, dragon fire has created a prosperous civilization, this should be a nation that worships the moon. Look at those bronze men. They shoot the sun. They are not the sky but the sun. This time, the Golden Iron Triangle, commissioned by a group of archaeologists, go to the South China Sea to participate in a work of salvaging cultural relics. The lost cultural relic is called Qin Wang Zhaogu. It is said that it can illuminate the ghosts in people's hearts. A few years ago, he was on a cruise ship called the Marigian, appeared but unfortunately ended up following the cruise ship, in a seaside peril called the Coral Spiral, sank together. That place is full of reefs, constant storm, Known as the South China Sea Bermuda, Haba and his party just approached that sea area, immediately encountered a strange thing. Thick fog suddenly rises from the sea. The autolite and compass on board, also all of a sudden failure. Sailing in the sea, once lost direction, means being haunted by the fear of death. Fortunately, Captain Majin testified on board. No need for Hubai. Shui Liang first took out his ancestral treasure Si Tianyu. He was born with the nature of the moon. The head of the fish will always face east to absorb the essence of the sun. Just put a sun umbrella in the cup. Four days fish will mistake it for the moon. At this time, the direction of the head of the fish is due east. So, even where the compass fails, it can also guide you in the direction. The big ship continues to spiral towards the coral. Based on past experience, the closer the more deadly. Soon a huge, eerie ship sails by. The hull has long since rotted, lifeless at first glance. Uncle Ming, an expert in ocean exploration himself, explained. It's called a ghost ship. Legend has it that all the dead souls who died at sea lived on it. Once you encounter it at sea, you will be stalked to death. Everyone didn't believe it at the beginning. Unexpectedly, the ship sailed for a long time ghost ship really reappeared, straight to the side, Master Wan, the captain, hastened to speed up, although barely escaped, but they were entangled by fishing nets and got together in the iron triangle, I had no choice but to lie on the edge of the boat and cut off the fishing net, got away with it, a big wave is coming, Fatty Wong still fell into the water, Shui Lian threw out the life buoy in time, but not far away, it seems that something is speeding towards Fatty Wong, escape with the fat man, a thin figure jumps into the water, it turned out that Duo Lin, the daughter of Master Wan, went into the water herself. Killed the sea beast with a dagger. I didn't expect this kid to be so young. There is so much power. Not long after, the fleet finally entered the coral spiral. It is said that there is a sea eye in the central area of the spiral. It's an invincible ghost cave on the sea. It's hard to fill it up even if it pours water from all over the world. To avoid him, Shui Lian suggested that everyone only operate in the outer spiral. The people divided into several teams and dived into the bottom of the sea. But no trace of the sunken ship was found. Instead, a lot of rare pearls were salvaged. Glasses of the leader of the operation. Desire to find the lost Qin King Zhao Gujing. He is ready to break through the inward spiral despite the opposition. But on the way, a coffin suddenly floated from the sea. Look into the distance. And an isolated island appeared out of nowhere. This makes Uncle Ming feel very unlucky. But the glasses feel. Maybe this lucky coffin. There is a clue that King Qin looked in the ancient mirror. After picking him up. Find. The pattern on the door is exactly the same as the pattern on the ancient mirror. Very similar. Glasses immediately ordered someone to open the coffin. A younger brother was about to probe to see the results. <laughs> then a headless monster crawled out of the coffin. People looked to the sea again. There are countless identical coffins around. Eye catching kung fu. The whole ship is covered with dense monsters. There's not enough firepower with so many people on board. Crewmen continue to die tragically at the hands of monsters. Others can only hide indoors and forcefully block the exit. Just when everyone is feeling hopeless, a head crawled out of the ship's chimney. 
Strange beast shaped like a giant toad. He jumped on the deck with a roar. Instantly scares all monsters away. So this toad is Doran's friend. Many years ago, when Master One went to sea, once strayed into the coral spiral, and found the ship that is now. At that time, all the crew members were dead. Only Doran and Toad are in the cage. This time he is willing to return to the nightmare of the year, just to bring Doran back home, unravel the secret of each other's life experience. The big toad just now also belongs to this sea area. Now he can finally go home. Looking at the huge bright moon above my head, everyone remembers the story Uncle Ming told. Maricino. Similar strange things have happened in this sea area.